I would like to join with other colleagues in asking for a debate uh, on homophobia. Uh, I think it's very important. There's an attempt being made now to close down this debate. Uh, and I think it's disgraceful that RTE have shown such a gathering rush to pay up on this. Uh, and I wonder what the legal advice they were given was, because I very much doubt if it was clearly in the line in which they took. So I think as a taxpayer, as a licensed payer and all the rest of it, I'd like to know why my money is being given uh, to these people. Uh, I know that they won't cooperate with SIPO, which is extraordinary. I know that they're controlled by a company which was called Lolic, uh, which was founded in 2006. Uh, I'd like to know how they achieve their status in society. A question for the leader. I have, I'm, I've already asked it, I'm going to continue asking it. Um, they have, um, they are self-appointed, uh, they are answerable to nobody, um, they have consistently misrepresented scientific uh, papers and have been rebuked by the authors of those papers and they did that at the convention of which I was a member. So it is amazing to me that they're allowed to bully people. Senator, is this relevant it, to the other business? Yes, it is very relevant. Because I've asked the question, and I prefer not to be interrupted, uh, because I think it's extremely serious. I have to say to you, Kayla, I sat in this chamber, and I listened to colleagues on these benches putting down motions that were effectively uh, apartheid. Had I been a Roman Catholic, a black person or a Jew, and anything att was attempted remotely like that, the person would have been fired out of this house straight away. Would you like to imagine, Kihilak and my colleagues, how it felt like for me to sit here and hear valued colleagues suggesting that I should not be allowed to purchase uh, cake decorations or wedding invitations or this sort of business, that I should be denied the service of a hairdresser as if I needed it, but, I mean, I just think people should take this seriously. This country is rampant with homophobia. It's throughout the media, and there are decent people in the media who are terrified to open their mouths. And I hear all the time about the, the liberal four conspiracy and the Dublin, the media, this, that, and the other. Where the hell are they? Where were they when I was being crucified? Where were they when Panty, a remarkable man, comes out and tells the truth? And tells the truth? Uh, so I would like to know, this might have the opportunity of turning the spotlight on the Ione Institute. And I've asked the and I'm asking the leader today, as I asked his deputy, but I didn't get very far. And I have to say this, Minister Rabbit just equivocated the usual old blather, one side of his mouth and then the other side of his mouth. I want to ask the leader another question. I want to ask him, will he instigate some degree of research into the Ione Institute? Where are they getting their money from? Why they don't cooperate with SIPO? Who made them an institute? In Britain, they would be legally prohibited from using the Senator, word institute overtime, because Senator. they're self-appointed. Well, it's overtime, okay, fine, Senator, but as I said on Sunday, the homophobes have had 2,000 years Senator, on the stage, and I think we're entitled Senator, to a few overtime. words now and again. Senator Gilroy. Thank you, Mr. Okay, yes, good morning in Cork.